I was raised in Genoa. My dad uh, drove a log truck. I got with Michael in 94, married in 2000. And then, you know, he got sick in 13. He worked hard for what we had. So I decided, okay, I'm going to keep it going. It was challenging, but I'm glad I did it. She didn't really know the business and people were taking advantage of her. You know, I never really thought about I'm just quitting. I thought about let's just try to keep it going and do the best I can. Well, she's tough now. She's a great person. Her determination to keep it. You know, that, that keeps me going. Keeping up with just the paperwork alone, you know, and then chasing parts and then taking care of me out here. You know, she got her hands full every day. <laughs> what John Deere pretty much always run. Why did I choose John Deere? They just get the job done. I mean, they're reliable, they're fast, they're so operator friendly. You know, they're just a good all around machine. We don't work on them a whole lot other than, you know, blowing hoses or something like that. Never really owned any other kind of equipment. I like John Deere. I don't want to come out here and have to work on that. I don't want to come out here and log. You know, <laughs> I want to make money. <laughs> and uh, that's what we're out here to do. Is the machine has helped us do it. I do like dealing with scribbling when they do things. You know, they're there to help us out. Stripping equipment, very good. You couldn't ask for no better people. Not many women out there. And at first it bothered me, but now I don't, it don't bother me. I highly recommend this business, you know. It's a good business. If you can make a good living, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I mean, uh, logging's my life. You know, a logger is going to find a way. We're gonna make it work.